Hey, what's up guys? Hope everyone's doing well. I've got an unboxing today, and this is a pair that I ordered, or a pair that I got from Ben Silver of Charleston, which is a menswear store. Um, very like a, a heritage-esque type store from Charleston, South Carolina. And that's that's about the extent of what I know about them. So let's dive into the shoes here. For those that have followed along the channel for a bit, or you know, have just kind of had uh, different conversations with me on or offline, know that I'm not a huge kind of uh, what's the right you know heritage brand um, fan. Uh, Alden, Crockett and Jones, Allen Edmonds, whatever you would kind of consider the uh, classic like heritage brands. I have nothing against them; they're just not overly appealing to me. So this is my first pair from Kraken and Jones. And once you see these, maybe it'll make a little more sense. I do have to say, I'm kind of like pleasantly surprised with the packaging. Um, I kind of knew what to expect, but it is always nice when you get a very clean box, um, very just solid, clean presentation of exactly what you've seen everywhere else. So these are the, uh, you know, the classic Crockett and Jones flannel, um, flannel bags, which it's, you know, it wasn't a huge surprise when I saw these, but it is always nice to just, you know, get exactly what you kind of expected or exactly what you've seen everyone else get. These are the kind of classic mock toe loafers. This is their Harvard model, which is a fully unlined penny loafer, kind of similar to the Alden Leisure Hand Sewn. And uh, this is exactly why I went with Crockett and Jones and uh, wanted a heritage brand for this exact shoe. So basically like I've always kind of been um, intrigued by the kind of mock toe penny loafer, especially in Shell Cordovan, but I never really had what you would kind of call like the quintessential version of this. I just never really found one that was overly appealing to me. This one kind of came calling. This is in Horween Whiskey Shell Cordovan. This is on the 314 last uh, unlined and uh, that's pretty much it. It's just straightforward, exactly what you would expect from this type of shoe. The main reason that I decided to go with Kraken and Jones over some of the other brands in this realm, specifically for this shoe, is first, this is the exact kind of like makeup and configuration that I was looking for. The mock toe, a light brown color shell cordovan, um, unlined, preferred, but would have done lined or unlined, and then like mock toe, and you know, this is just kind of the classic version of that. The Alden option, while probably like perfectly acceptable, just Alden's quality and finishing in general has kind of progressively kind of gone down, at least in my perception. It's been a few years since I've actually had a pair, but even over the first probably like one to two years that I had any Aldens, it kind of less and less impressed me over time. And uh, even from afar now, um, it kind of continued on that trend. Similar topic with Carmina. I did try one of their similar like mock toe loafers and the last just did not really work well for me at all so it seemed kind of pointless to continue down that path when i already gave it a try and it didn't work why not try something different i've never had whiskey shell cordovan i've had bourbon i've had natural but i've never had whiskey so when i saw this pair especially when it's already in a stock or a limited stock offer from a retailer you know they had it in my size ready to go i figured why not because this is exactly what i wanted so looking at this initial try on this initial fit, I'm really impressed with it. Um, this is a stock last. This is the 314 last. And this is kind of like my true to size size, which would be a UK 7.5 or an eight and a half D width um, in the US sizing. Um, the instep feels very comfortable. The heel and the top line actually has some shape to it, which I've noticed on the leisure hand stone from Alden. There really is no shape. So I think that's a big differentiator between like the van last and this last, especially with the pattern execution on the last, is that this seems to actually kind of like hug the heel, whereas one of the big gaps in the, um, it's a literal description, is that that top line on the Alden doesn't really like hug the heel. And because of that, there's a lot of fit issues where this, the initial um, impression is that it fits pretty well. You know, I have to say I'm not overly impressed but I'm kind of pleasantly surprised. Like everything is very cleanly executed. The the bottom work is very clean as well. You know, there's no obvious issues at all. Kind of looking over the shoe, it's just exactly what it should be. And I think 
that's what your kind of expectation and that's what you should pretty much get when you go with a heritage brand it's not something that's going to like blow you out of the water you know it's supposed to kind of like tick off all the boxes and deliver exactly what you are looking for and nothing less nothing more and if you just go around this shoe that's exactly what it does so extremely happy with it so far so really excited to finally have a pair of kraken and jones but i think even more so excited to have a pair of whiskey online shell mock toe loafers because this is like just the the classic casual loafer it's one that i've really wanted to have this style loafer for a while and i i just never have so i'm glad that i i finally got one i'm glad i got one in whiskey because again this is the first pair of whiskey shell cordovan that i had and one other very cool thing with online shell cordovan is if you can get a uh a horween stamp in there and as you can see here horween usa stamp right on the instep there yeah couldn't be uh couldn't be more excited to to give these a try and just see how uh see how much i enjoy them because i think this is uh being a loafer guy this is something i uh really expect to kind of wear often and uh get a lot of enjoyment out of them so i'm really excited to finally have this shoe in the collection but more so not to collect it but to wear it let me know if you have any questions or thoughts or experience with this style or this specific shoe and thanks for watching we'll uh, we'll see you next time